Becca here at Reset and Restore and I'm happy to share this time with you again. Um, last time I took a video by a creek uh, probably about a month or so ago and talked about the heart as the seat of consciousness. And today um, I'm now at a, the weather has changed, the sun is out more and the water is flowing heavy here where I'm at. And I wanted to talk about, um, about the heart again and about blood pressure and um, in that last video, we discussed how the heart and the mind are intimately connected and affect each other and how the blood is, is the life system of our body. It pervades every function in which we exist and, and somewhat like the water of this river brings nourishment and life to, to this nature, to this land that causes everything to be green and healthy. Um, and so just, I wanted to share this um, Ayurvedic Sutra from the Charak Samhita, uh, Sutra 30, 13 and 14, and it talks about the heart and the mind. And, and one who wants to protect the heart, great vessels and ojas, should particularly avoid afflictions of the mind. He should regularly take measures which are conducive to heart and ojas, and cleansing of shrodas, and make efforts for serenity of mind and knowledge. So the one thing in, in Ayurveda, on Ayurveda, when we talk about ojas, ojas is our, our life energy, it's like our prana. And, and then clean, cleansing of the shrotas is our channels. So it's like the arteries and, um, within, our, within our system. And so a lot of um, stressors and things in, in our life, physically, mentally, can cause um, our blood flow to change whether we'll have excess flow, which is more directed to diabetes, or we can have wrong flow, where um, there'll be blockages or weak flow when we have um, inflammation in our veins. Um, and then there might be blockages um, within the system that redirect our flow. <laughs> so when there's, um, debris falling in this river here there'll be blockages and it'll affect the flow of the river it'll have to go around or it'll be a little bit more challenging so I just want to give you some things because heart issue is is such a, a, the number one uh, reason of, of death is heart disease and high blood pressure and how can we um, help to prevent these things right and so I'm here in nature because to me this is one of the keys, is to um, be more in sync with nature, with natural rhythms. Um, that is something that's going to help our heart health. And then number two, um, and I've touched on this before, but it's, it's huge. Even the American Heart Association acknowledges that um, transcendental meditation is one of the most effective ways to lower your blood pressure. So taking time <laughs> take a walk in nature take time to slow down and to meditate to balance within um, to balance the heart to balance the mind and to have good flow